Rocky series. Here are some of the U.S. offshore officials on the Hustler power boat, one of the base boats, and there you see some of the other boats now going out to the milling area. We can tell you that as far as the laps are concerned, in factory five laps for 45 miles, in production A, seven laps for 63 miles, super stock eight laps for 72, sport B, eight laps also for 72, modified C, nine laps for 81, and offshore D and open, 12 laps for a total of 108 miles. There you see on the boats. They're going out to the milling area. Just a beautiful, crystal clear day here in the Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri. Gibbard Racing, number 88, getting ready. Mountain Carboat, Mr. Reggie Fountain, and Pat Patel. We have five onboard cameras today. We frame videos right now to bring you those cameras so we can give you some really unique and exciting pictures of this race. So we're looking forward to that. There is Bodyguard. One of our onboard cameras aboard Bodyguard. There it is. Our helicopter there in the background is from Helicopter Incorporated. Mr. Alan Barkley is our helicopter pilot today. The company's from Cahokia, Illinois. Helicopter Incorporated. Alan Barkley, they're going by. We are aboard Bodyguard. Now, RC Marine with our second onboard camera, RC Marine, powered by Zool Racing Engines. There you see all the boats sitting in the milling area, waiting for the beginning of this race. Final national race for U.S. Offshore. Beautiful scenery here at the Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri. Great Lakes Caster, they're going by. The Great Lakes Caster in great competition with Ken's Oil in the Great Lakes Trophy Series. Buying for first place in that series. All right, we're aboard B88 Obsession, our third onboard camera for this race, Harry Turner's Obsession. Harry Turner is the owner driver of Obsession, final man, Mr. Peter Olette. Obsession is powered by Reed Racing Engine. Obsession. How sweet it is, how sweet it is, Mr. Carl Myers, powered by United Racing Engines, our fourth onboard camera aboard How Sweet It Is, here in the milling area. There's Buck John and Bernie Desire, the How Sweet It Is racing team, by the way, would like to thank the Four Seasons Live. On board Gifford Racing now, Gifford Racing with Mr. Rich Dancision and Bill Gifford. Our fifth on board camera for Gifford Racing. Five and all for this race and free spray and video thinks that this is really a very unique and special way to show you all the action of this race. This last national race for U.S. Offshore. We also like to say that Willie Schultz has installed all of these onboard cameras. Willie Schultz from Superboat Service on Long Island. Now there we see the yellow smoke. Aboard Team Hustler Powerboats. That's our powerboats from Long Island supplying all of the pace boats for this race. We'll be going with three starts. The first will be the open class, which will go 12 laps for a total of 108 miles. A few moments away now from the beginning of this race, we'll be covering the open. Yeah, first off and the first start. That includes Gibber Racing, Fountain, Mr. Goodwrench, and Screaming Eagle. We'll be going with the open start. First off. There you see some of the boats now going uh, away from the milling area into the lineup for this first start of this Power Fest 94 in Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. We are on board now, Gifford Racing. There you see Rich Tansition and Bill Gifford of Gifford Racing getting ready for this open start. Moving out of the milling area. There's Pat on the right side.
Fighting it out in the early moments of this car fest, 94, Ring of the Ozarks, the final national race for the U.S. Offshore Racing Association. 88, Gifford Racing, 40-foot Jaguar, hard by two, nine of the horsepower and Mercury power plants. There's Falcon there on the outside right now, still in the lead. And there's a hustle pace car on the outside, still keeping up these boats in the early moments of this race. Gifford Racing, hard by two, nine of the horsepower and Mercury power plants with Mercury Drive. The driver is Bill Cooper, Bob and Rich Dancer, who navigate a few celebrities. Out there on the outside and slightly in the lead over Gifford Racing. Very close here in the early moments. Gifford Racing on the inside. Out with Mr. Patel and Reggie Cobb on the outside. Racing very close there. Now you see Gifford Racing creeping up towards some of that gap. Gifford Racing on the inside. Very close here. A duel going on here in the open start. Gifford Racing and Cobb. Now Gifford Racing has taken the slight lead over both on the outside, Gifford Racing now in the lead. Gifford Racing, by the way, is first right now in the National Coast Challenge for U.S. Offshore, first in the Northeast. Gifford Racing with Mr. Bill Gifford, Rich Nassich, and Steve Szilagyi. There he is, out now on the outside in second place. Gifford Racing in first, but not very much. A real struggle here as they're going around the turn now. Gifford Racing in the lead over Captain Tell and Reggie Fountain. Turn. There is Gifford Racing, slightly in the lead. Fountain Power Boats on the inside coming around. There you see Fountain Power Boats has taken the lead on that turn over Gifford Racing, a real duel. We're aboard now, Gifford Racing with Rich Dancer and Bill Gifford and Steve Salazi. And we're going to go through that sequence one more time at the start of this Power Fest 94. And there you can see Fountain on the outside. As uh, Gifford Racing was creeping up very slowly and uh, trying to pick up some of that lead. Close to that gap, and uh, Mr. Bill Gifford and Rich Dancer, who got on the outside of the top of the cell, and Reggie Fountain. Once again, this is the sequence in the very start of this race. And there you see Fountain Power Boats. By the way, the Gifford Racing team includes, as we said, Mr. Dancer, Bill Gifford, and Steve Salaji, also son of law Joey Palladine, Joe Halpern, Susan Gifford, and Cassie Gifford, mascot of Gifford Racing. Sonoka Race Fields, Clarence Motorsports Marine, and McGuire. Now you see Gifford Racing picking up some room now, getting ready to pass. Mountain, as we saw, Mount Carlos on the outside. Gifford Racing making its move right now and taking first place in the very early moments of Parapet 94. Let's listen to those Mercury Power Plants. The Gifford Racing Team won championships in 1992 and 93 U.S. Offshore National High Street Standings in open division. Gifford Racing right now, going around the turn as we saw. Having a slight lead over Scott Carbo, but Scott now is going to come on the inside and once again take the lead in the early moments of this race. Bill Gifford there, now on the wheel, making the turn. Very shortly, we will see Fountain Power Boats in our left-hand corner there. There it is! Fountain Power Boats now taking the lead on that turn, as we saw before, from our helicopter shot. Very exciting opening here in open class. Back to our helicopter shot now. There is Fountain the lead with different racing right behind. Not much room between these two open boats.
from this offshore.
State there in the background. They certainly have a great view of this race. You couldn't get any better. Some of the other competition in open class, of course, give it racing, Fountain, and Screaming Eagle. Right now, you're watching Mr. Goodland. Number eight. on the inside with Jaws on the outside. Competition now here in C-Class. Easton Express in first place in C. Jaws on the outside right behind. A great duel here between these two boats. A 32-foot skater and a 32-foot superboat. Easton Express on the inside with Mr. Joe Brashemi and Bob Perrin. Easton Express powered by two. 700 horsepower and 70 engines with Mercury to drive. Casey Jaws on the outside now picking up some new. Very close here between Jaws and Easton Express. He's in first place in the Great Lakes Trophy Series, and if it continues right now, as what it's doing, but Jaws is giving it some competition. He could wind up getting that trophy in C-Class one more time. He's in the one trophy last year in C-Class. Jaws on the outside, he's in express on the inside. By the way, Joe Buscemi gave the Great Lakes Trophy Series $5,000 and made this Lake of the Ozarks Park Series possible. Joe Buscemi and Bob Perry are in express, and it's on Jaws now. May have picked up a little bit of room. They're pretty even right now. A great competition between Eastern Express and Jaws in Seaplast. This is Powerfest 94. Shemi, of course, from St. Clair, Michigan. Bob Carrick from Algonquin, Michigan. He's an expression on the turn in first place. Lake of the Ozark, Missouri. Second place in C class, Jaws a 32 foot superboat, powered by three 2.5 EFIs. The driver on app will be from Denville, New Jersey. Throttle man, Dave Horseman from Hackettstown, New Jersey. Navigator John Stallings from Denville, New Jersey. Jaws in second place in C class, right behind Eastern Express. And there you see the wake of Eastern Express on the outside. 
Johnson the second place in Watonia, New Hampshire earlier this year, second in Oswego. Johnson having a great year this year. They're currently in second place in the Northeast Point for U.S. Oscar. In third place in the National Sports Tennis.
Bodyguard at 69 on the right side. She's going to be fresh and jaw. The early moments of this race and the start of the modified offshore DM Super Stock. Here now we're going around the turn. And as we're going around the turn, we can tell you that Bodyguard has had a great season. They took first place in St. Cloud, a third in Key West, first in Plymouth, Mass, first place in New Hampshire, first place in Oswego, first in Sarasota, and third place in Chicago. Nice job there, nice driving job by Mr. Al Paella.
Court, Professional Marine Racing, Doug, Al, Harry, Danny, and Leanne, the Rookie, and Gordon Leanne's. Second votes for Richard and Chris. Second for Rico and the Four, including the new 94 Jets. Going Brothers Marina, Charlie, Larry, and Drew for constant support and helping test Buckshot. And also special thanks to IDA Sandy for the many hours spent helping make Buckshot a class leader. Currently in third place, B30, Buckshot. 33 foot shot from on the outside is Mr. Goodwin. Mr. Goodwin from the outside, on the inside, B30, Buckshot, the leader in B class. We've got our session. Great place to pass this. Shot through. Dean and Marine. Full running. Got you. And Ben's all. On the inside is Buck Shot. Mr. Goodrich on the outside. Mr. Goodrich supports him on both vehicles. Buck Shot. Fourth place finish in Chicago last week. Currently there in third place in the National Point standing for U.S. Off the Board. You're watching Power Fest in 54. Great BFI system from Buck Shot on the outside. BFI system having some problems. On the outside, your third wheel in B class, B, 30. With Mr. Doug Lewis and Ed Oliver, all from Rick, New Jersey, and here they are. Second place in B-Class B88 Obsession, a 32-foot Hustler, powered by two 550-horsepower Reed Racing inboards with Mercury Drives. Aboard Obsession, driver Harry Turner from East Falmouth, Mass. Groundman Peter Olet from Falmouth, Massachusetts as well. B88 Obsession in second place in B-Class. Now, the Obsession Racing Team would like to thank a number of people. First off, their support of families, Harry's wife Linda and children John and Lisa, Peter's wife Joan and his son Little Dean. Also, special thanks to crew chief Steve Ando and also the crew members Bob Bowman, Eddie Olet, John Turner, John E. Turner, Ken Harding, Dave Facilla, and Bob Walker. Special thanks to Richie Curry for driving the rig and equipment in safely. And the Obsession Race Team thanks its sponsors, including Arlie of Seabrook Truck Condor in New Hampshire, Lou from Associated Gas Products of Everett, Mass., Stephen Mickey of Solid and Metals in Lynn, Mass., Gennaro of GNJ Towing in Revere, Matt and Carl of Continental Carriers in Ashland, Pennsylvania, Jack with all welding in Lynn, Mass., William O'Brien and Jerry Janjosian, insurance specialists from Reading, Massachusetts. Lois and Chris at Pier 37 in Falmouth, Mass. Karen at Thunderbolt Fasteners of Boston, Massachusetts. Bob of Shirtworks, Beverly, Mass. Mike of Fiori High Performance in Holbrook, New York. Turner Trucking and Salvage Company in Lynn, Mass. Harry Turner, the owner and CEO. Also, Komatsu and Bob Bernard of CN Wood Company, Berlin, Massachusetts. And Barbara Lynn of Allison Financial Group. We're on board now. We're on board Obsession B88 here at the start of this race. Powerfest 94. We've got Crazy Rhythm on the right side with Ken Zoyle and Buckshot on the left. And uh, the pace boat is in the middle of the field. Should not be, but that's the situation right now. There is the pace boat right there waiting for the green flag. We've got the green flag now. The beginning of Powerfest 94. All to a good start. B88 Obsession. Doing excellent here at the start of this race. U.S. Offshore, the final national race. We are aboard B88, Harry Turner's Obsession. Obsession right now is in third place in Northeast Divisional Points. Let's listen to those two 550 horsepower Reed Racing inboards. By the way, driver Harry Turner owns Turner Trucking and Salvage Company in Lynn, Massachusetts, the major mover and shaker of the North Shore since 1987, handling all types of non-hazardous material removal and heavy equipment operations and excavation. Harry Turner, Obsession, B88, currently in first place in B-Class. There they are. There's Harry Turner at the wheel with... Peter Olet, Rattleman, both from Falmouth, Massachusetts. Let's listen to those power plants.
two 550 horsepower Reed Racing inboards doing their job. There's he many of the spectator votes in the background here at Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. B88 obsession going around the turn. All right, we're back on board now. The obsession race team here. We're going around that first turn. B88, a 32-foot hustler. And we are on board the Obsession Racing Team with our onboard camera. We're going to see what it looked like on the first turn. Buckshot on the inside. And here we go here with Mr. Harry Turner and Peter Olet here as we go around this first turn. And as we go around this turn, there's Buckshot on the inside. Buckshot now has taken the lead in B class, but Obsession close behind. As we can see now, Obsession creeping up on Buckshot, a 33-foot something. Obsession, a 32-foot hustler. Great battle going on here in B-Class. Obsession and Buckshot. There you see Buckshot very slightly in the lead, but Obsession coming up. Great battle between these two boats, and this is really a preview of what we might very well see in the World Championships in Key West here. Great battle uh, between these two B-boats. We will have two helicopters to cover all the action during that week of the World Championships in Key West. Just give you a little preview of what will be happening during that week in the morning. One of our helicopters will be covering the A and B race, and uh, the other helicopter is CNS. That'll be in the morning. In the afternoon, one of the helicopters will be doing Super and Open, and our second helicopter, D and Pro Stock, in the afternoon. So great competition in store in Key West, and we're seeing some of that right now between these two B-boats, Obsession and Buckshot. Something against the Hustler. And there's see some of the landscape there on the shoreline of Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri here at PowerFest 94, the last national race for U.S. offshore. We're aboard Harry Turner's Obsession. Best of luck to the Obsession Racing Team. D4, Mr. Goodwrench running excellent in offshore D. Mr. Goodwrench, a 38-foot Bertram powered by two 850 horsepower inboards with Arneson drives. Aboard, Mr. Goodwrench, driver Courtney Munson from Monmouth, Illinois. Throttle man Don Onkin from Easton, Illinois. Mr. Goodwrench, D4. Mr. Goodwrench was the 1991 Rookie of the Year in the Great Lakes Trophy Series. It took also the Central Division High Points in D-Class, second place. 1992 Central Division High Points, first place in D-Class. In 1993, they took a second in the Great Lakes Trophy Series. And also in the Central Division, they took a second place in the Central Division High Points in D-Class. Mr. Goodwrench sponsors include Onkin, Incorporated, Muds and Transportation, and Oil Filter Recyclers. Mr. Goodwrench running excellent in D-Class right now. There you see many of the spectator boats in the background. Beautiful area head down here. Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. This is the final national race for U.S. Offshore for the 1994 season. Also the final leg of the Great Lakes Trophy Series as well. Mr. Goodwrench in first place in D-Class. Courtney Munson and Don Onkin doing a fine job aboard this 38-foot Bertram. Some of the other competitors in D-Class include how sweet it is, Gold Rush and BFI Systems. This is PowerFest 94, Lake of the Ozarks.
Currently in third place in B-Class's Great Lakes Passers, a 33-foot fountain powered by two 580-horsepower Mercury inboards with Merc Cruiser Drive. The driver Jeff Hale from Coldwater, Michigan, Throttle Man Doug Popma from Grand Rapids, navigator Bill Paschek from Michigan City, Michigan. Great Lakes Caster B96 currently in third place is Carfest 94. Great Lakes Caster now on the outside is Jaws in the modified. Great Lakes Caster now picking up and passing Jaws on the outside. Now some of the accomplishments in 1994 season for Great Lakes Caster include a first at Geneva, a second at Cleveland, a second at St. Lake St. Clair, a second at Erie, Pennsylvania, and a third at Fort Clinton. A great season for Great Lakes Caster. B96. Driver Jeff Hale at Throttle Man Doug Papa and Navigator Bill Paschek doing a fine job. They're on the outside. Mr. Goodrench in offshore D. Great Lakes Caster on the inside. Some of the sponsors include Great Lakes Caster, Hale at Signs, Specialized Marine, National Car Rental, TNM Auto Leasing, World Products, Dart Cylinder Heads Assembly Service, Magliner Hand Trucks, RWM Casters, Lake George Marina, and Fremont Automotive. Now, special thanks to MRD Marine Research and Development, Griffin Automotive Marine, Fishtail Marine, Harry Welding, KMW Manufacturing, Fountain Power Boats, RNF Automotive, MB Cylinder Heads. There's Cool Runnings on the outside and Offshore B. Also, special thanks to Jim Valkeo, Blacko Cylinder Heads, Steve Bickle, Dick Hartman, also Deb Halen as Coochie, and special thanks to Dave Goodman of Tiger Fiberglass. Now, there's a battle going on here between Great Lakes Caster and Ken Zoyle in the Great Lakes Trophy Series. They're battling for first place, and if Great Lakes continues on its path right now, they will be your champion in the Great Lakes Trophy Series in Offshore B. Great Lakes Caster, B96. Doug Papa and Bill Paschek doing an excellent job here at Powerfest 94. Now as we look downfield, there's Cool Runnings and Mr. Goodrench in Offshore D. Mr. Goodrench right now in first place in Offshore D. Gold Rush is the only other competitor in Offshore D running. How sweet it is, and BFI Systems both have had some technical problems. They are out of the race. Mr. Goodrench in first place there on the outside, and there is Cool Runnings now. Cool Runnings is a 28-foot offshore concept island runner. It's custom built with balsa core and carbon fiber. Owners and builders are Jeb Brown, Ken Crane, and Carol Brown. The boat is powered by a pair of Johnson GT 300 horsepower outboards. The driver is Ken Crane of North Falmouth, Massachusetts. On the sticks is throttle man Jeb Brown of North Falmouth as well. Navigating is Carol Brown of West Falmouth, Massachusetts. A little spray over the boat there, but no problem. Now, some of the sponsors include a Tamian VW Honda of Tewksbury, Massachusetts, especially Terry and Sherry, Torco Racing Oils from Ernie Wurlitzer of Bar Mass, WREN Bill Rugg of Falmouth, Massachusetts, Farrier Gages of Connecticut, Jim Costello, and also the crew and family, Mike Ward, Arthur Tavares, John Donovan, Sandy Courtney, and Laurel Crane, and Sherry, William, and Tyler Brown. Also thanks to U.S. Officer, especially Paul and Bill. You're looking at Cool Running B-57. Let's listen to those Johnson GT 300 horsepower outboards. There's Ken Crane, James Brown, and Carol Brown doing an excellent job. B-71 Shockwave, there on the outside is Gifford Racing, first overall and first in open class. Gifford Racing, Bill Gifford and Rich Dancers, but we're watching Shockwave right now, which is your current, is your current national champion for 1994, just by starting to add so many points that they are your national champions. Shockwave, B-71. B-71 is a 32-foot Hustler, powered by two 630-horsepower banded inboards with Mercruiser drives. Aboard Shockwave, Rich Trapley from Tom's River, he's the driver. Throttleman Mark Tang is from Manilock, New Jersey. Navigator Tony Sutter from Neptune, New Jersey. Now the Shockwave racing team would like to thank Kurtz Marine for those reliable bandit racing inboards. Kurtz Marine, your home for all your pleasure boat and high performance needs. 
Rich would also like to thank his fiance Kathy for all her assistance to the Shockwave Racing Team. Shockwave, your 1994 national champion and 1993 national champion in B class. Just an excellent year for the Shockwave Racing Team. Let's listen to those bandit racing in boards. Trapoli, Mark Tangus, and Tony Sada are all from New Jersey. As you can see, many spectator boats in the background there watching this final national race for U.S. Offshore here at Powerfest 94, Lake of the Ozarks. Running excellent in S-Class, S-11 Excavator with Mr. Goodrench there on the outside and offshore D. Excavator is a 25-foot obsession powered by one 700-horsepower Mercury inboard with a Merc Cruiser drive. Driver Brad Bodright from Hoffman, Illinois. Bottleman Charlie Schaefer from Carlisle, Illinois. S-11 Excavator. It's their rookie season, and they'd like to thank the State Bank of Keysport and also Gruniger's Performance Marine. Excavator S11 currently in second place in S class. The Excavator Racing Team would also like to thank some of the other crew members, including Neil Boatwright and John Lodick. Excavator. The crew would also like to thank all the guys that helped with the boat for the 1994 season. Currently in second place in S-Class, S-11, 25-foot obsession. Excavator seems to be slowing down. Excavator having some problems. There is RC Marine, A-1, a 30-foot superboat, currently in first place in A-Class and is your national champion in A-Class for 1994. RC Marine is powered by two 400 horsepower Zool Racing inboards with Mercruiser Drive. Driver, Steven Sokolik from Astoria, New York. Proud man, RC from West Babylon, New York. RC Marine, A1 currently in first place in A-Class. The RC Marine Racing Team would like to thank the Gray family from Blue Springs, Missouri for their support. Also, Richie Zool and the boys at Zool Racing Engines. We're gonna go on board now, RC Marine at the beginning of this start. Uh, 30 foot superboat, this A start. There you see Shockwave on the left side now moving to the right side of the screen. Some spray here on our lands. We're aboard RC Marine. The RC Marine racing team would also like to thank Mr. Rich Silvestri, the crew chief, for doing a fine job maintaining RC Marine. Matt Koenig, also of Amsoil, for his assistance. This is RC's last national race from A-Class, which is his fellow A-Class members. The best of luck in 1995. Next year, RC Marine will be moving to B-Class. We're aboard RC Marine there on the left side. Great Lakes Caster waiting for the green flag here in the start of the A, B, and F classes. There, once again, Shockwave on the right. Great Lakes Caster on the left. We are aboard RC Marine waiting for the green flag here of this start of Powerfest 94. We've got the green flag now in this A, B, and F start, and this race has begun. There's Great Lakes Caster on the left, Shockwave on the right, more competition on the right side of the screen, some more B-boats, an exciting, exciting start here in Powerfest 94. Great view with our onboard camera installed by Mr. Willie Schultz. Aboard RC Marine, a 30-foot superboat powered by two 400 horsepower Zool racing inboards. What a record RC Marine has had. They've been your national champions for the last five years since 1989. Our hats off to RC Marine and our compliments to Superboat on Long Island for building such a great hull. RC Marine, back to our helicopter shot. They are right now in first place in A-Class, but they continue. They will be your high points champions for U.S. Off Trip in 1994. RC Marine currently in first place. Steve 
Sokolik and RC. Just an unbelievable record here aboard this 30-foot superboat. Doing an excellent job. They were also your 1993 overall high point leaders for U.S. Offshore. RC Marine, just an unstoppable record. Currently in first place at a class. Sea Marine going around the turn now coming towards us. Spectator boats watching this exciting racing here in Lake of the Ozarks. Breeze Wayne Video would like to thank RC for all his technical assistance uh, to our crew. RC Marine 30 foot superboat. First place. Running at the top of the pack in C-Class is C-21 Sudden Impact, a 40-foot hustler powered by two 750-horsepower Northwest Racing inboards with Mercury drives. Aboard Sudden Impact, the driver Brian Woodcock from Nassau Bay, Texas, Rattleman Curtis Mars from Houston, Navigator James Pappas also from Houston. There you see the hatch has blown off of Sudden Impacts, but no problem whatsoever. Now, the Sudden Impact Racing Team would like to thank Paul Fiore and Chris McCoy at Hustler, also Justin Masson Gill at Northwest Engines, and special thanks to Enhanced Laser Products, manufacturer of the very best recycled cartridge. Sudden Impact, running at the top of the pack in C-Class. There you see the hatch blown off of said impact, and you see the Northwest Racing inboards. There are the crew members. Brian Whitcott and Curtis Morris and James Pappas. Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. Powerfest 94, the last national race for U.S. Onshore for this season. Looking forward to Key West and the World Championships. That's BFI systems idling back to the dock. Apparently there's a problem. But no problem with sudden impact right now in C-Class. Other competitors in C-Class include Eastern Express, Bennett, and Jaws. In second place in D-Class, D-49, Gold Rush, a 32-foot Cobra powered by two 650-horsepower Chevy engines with Mercruiser drives. The driver is Jim Pennick from Luna Pier, Michigan. Rattleman Rusty Miller from Edinburgh, Pennsylvania. Navigator Jeff McIntyre from Luna Pier, Michigan. In second place, D49 Gold Rush right now. If it continues this way in this position, it will be your Great Lakes Trophy Series champion. D49 Gold Rush. The Gold Rush Racing Team would like to salute their sponsors for the success of the 1994 campaign. Joel Hurd of Joel's Engineering, who's a custom engine builder. Bob Nakazuski of Lakeshore Auto Sales, who's the 1994 fuel sponsor. Gary Santa Gravel and Jim Lockwood Dodge, all of Curry, Pennsylvania. Also Jim Penix of Penix Marine Technologies of Luna Pier, Michigan, a Speedmaster Stern Drive Service. Gold Rush Race Team acknowledges the support of Erie Drive Train, Circo Inc., Bayview Auto Supply, Empire Auto Supply, Spicer Machine, and Acon Cleats. Gold Rush D49. Currently in second place in D-Class.
you see many of the beautiful homes there along Lake of the Ozarks. Bill Rush going around a turn. Rusty Miller, Jim Penix, and Jeff McIntyre doing an excellent job here at Powerfest 94. Just a beautiful day where they really cooperated for this last national race of the U.S. Offshore. team saluting our free frame video helicopter in second place in D-class there's Fountain in second place overall here in this Powerfest 94 Fountain going around the turn Many spectator boats in the background. There's Fountain, a 42-foot fountain. There is sudden impact there on the outside. Sudden impact in C-Class. Found on the inside here on the turn. 42-foot fountain powered by two 1,100-horsepower Mercury inboards with Mercruiser drives. Sudden impact there on the outside in C-Class. Fountain on the inside. Currently in second place overall. Aboard Fountain, Reggie Fountain, Rattleman, Pat Patel, the driver. Pass from Britain, New Jersey. Ready from Washington, North Carolina. Number 76, Fountain. There you see some of the beautiful scenery here at Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri. Crew members there are saying hello to... Freeman video crew, real pretty boat, 42 foot fountain. Pat Patel and Reggie Fountain aboard. Powered by two 1100 horsepower Mercury and boards. S11 Excavator, they're a little bit of problem, but uh, they'll get going again. You see their hatch open. S11 Excavator. Gotcha. B76, a 33-foot Excalibur. Powered by three 2.4 EFIs. The driver, Joe Pursuit from Linwood, Illinois. Throttle man, Krista Young from Glenwood, Illinois. Navigator, Dawson Baker. Gotcha, B76. Spectator boats watching this race. Powerfest 94 here at Lake of the Ozarks. There's Gifford Racing on the inside. Gifford Racing is in first place and first place overall. In the boat is Bill Gifford. He's the driver. Throttle man Rich Dan Sijin. Navigator Steve Solange. Gifford Racing a 40-foot Jaguar. Powered by two 850 horsepower Mercury inboards. Gifford Racing in first place and first place overall. Listen to those Mercury inboards. We're going on board now. Aboard Gifford Racing there. Mr. Bill Gifford at the wheel and Mr. Rich Dan Sijin. The Gifford Racing team would like to thank their sponsors, including Sunoco Racing Fuels, Triumphs Motorsports Marine, and McGuire's. Crew looks real comfortable. I mean, done a fantastic job here in this race, has dominated throughout this whole 
PowerFest 94, the last national race for U.S. Offshore. Gifford Racing now coming down into the stretch and doing a great job. Bill Gifford, Rich Vansition, and Steve Szilagyi. They're all from New Jersey. Once again, we're on board Gifford Racing with Mr. Bill Gifford and Rich Dantzich and Steve Solange. By the way, the Peace Brand video crew would like to thank Sue Gifford, the team scorer for U.S. Offshore, for all her help, as well as Miss Leslie Cohn. Back to a helicopter shot now, Gifford Racing in first place in open class and first overall. Just a tremendous job by Bill Gifford, Rich Van Cision, and Steve Solange here at Powerfest 94, dominating all the way here at Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri. Back on board now, Gifford Racing for the onboard cap. We're going to take them to the finish line, to the checkered flag as we near the end of this last national race for U.S. Offshore. Bill Gifford there at the wheel. This is the final boat that we will be covering for PowerFest 94. And soon we'll have the final results of this last national race for U.S. Offshore. And now you can hear the engine slowing down as Rich Dancision there, the victory sign. Our Rich Dancision and Bill Gifford now giving each other congratulations as they go towards the checkered flag to receive that coveted first place in this PowerFest 94 U.S. Offshore Lake of the Ozarks. Victory celebration aboard Gifford Racing.